All right, Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhak, Rakhak, the bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation to all the I can put his word with truth, stage with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, with the word and he calls Jesus and Rakhak, Rakhak, the Holy Spirit. As always, we're the brothers from the great millstone branch here in Chicago, and I'm back, at, and we're back at you another lesson. I'm the brother Tazwar, brother Shemaya, and I'm the brother Yadaya, you know, and hey, we, uh, hey, we back with you another lesson, man, you know. Hey, um, basically, we're going to have gain as in godliness, as you can see by the title. Now people have a complete and utter misunderstanding, man, and ultimately a complete and utter lust for this, man. You know, these people think that, oh, he got a Benz, but Pastor got a motherfucking Corvette. He got a mansion. Oh, the Lord got to be on his side, man. But no, that is not the case, man. Hey, the Lord, the Lord has to set up any any type of way he wants, man. He said he make it rain on the just and the unjust. Hey, just because you have the finer things does not mean you're on point in the eyes of the Lord, man. You know, hey, our people are, are, are honestly carnal. They don't, they don't see, they don't see past America. They see that, oh, Esau says this, this X, Y, and Z makes you successful, which is not the case, man. All right, but this is um First Timothy six and. I start three. It says, "If any man teach otherwise and can send not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, into the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and stripes of words. Wherefore cometh envy, strife, railings, and evil submissions." And that just means, you know. It just means that it's yeah, suspicious, you know? So our people are what? If they teach otherwise, man, hey, they're proud. Hey, they're knowing nothing, man. Because ultimately, we're continuing on. Verse 5, per perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. Hey, destitute is lacking. Hey, lacking the truth, man. Because what our people want to do, our people want to make it on this side, man, where well, this is not our rest, all right? And it says, supposing that gain it's godliness. So they're supposing that gain is godliness, right? It says, from such, withdraw thyself. From such, withdraw thyself, man. Don't be around someone doing that, man. And they think, oh, if you're lowly and broke, you're you're not, the, the Lord isn't on your side. As me and the brother you died was talking about earlier, hey, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, say he had no uh, uh, place no, to rest his head. Right, you know? no place to he rest his head. He said, foxes have holes, you know, mm -hmm. but hey, the son of man have nowhere to lay his head. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. But everybody equate, you know, uh, being, you know, these Christians, they all, oh, you know, you got to have this, you got to have this, you know, you got to have a nice suit, nice gaiters on. Hey, the Lord, he wasn't coming in that spirit, man. The Lord rebuked the uh, the uh, wicked scribes and Pharisees. He say they uh, desired to be in king's houses, basically saying that uh, he talked about their apparel, you know, mm -hmm. they had the fine cloth and men. In one mile, turn left onto Southwest Highway. But godliness with contentment is great gain. So, hey, man, godliness with contentment is great gain, man. Hey, you got to um, be content. Hey, our, uh, our king, King David said, give me not riches nor poverty. Hey, honestly, just trust the Lord, praise him for what he gives you. Hey, be, be appreciative of what you have. Uh, be sufficed, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, uh, that's it on that one. I got some. Huh. It's, uh... Second, this first John chapter 2 verse 15 says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All right? So hey man, hey, hey, going hey, like the brother said, man, gain is gain is not godliness, man. That's just good to say, man. Alright, cause hey, these people they love the world. Alright, give their life over to Esau, Edom, man, give their life over to materialistic things, man. Alright? That's not the love of the father, man. All right, that doesn't show that your heart about shots with you, man. That doesn't show that you love the Lord, man. That shows that you love the world, man. All right, that shows that you were holding on to, to a, a ultimately envying the devil, man. All right, which a is gonna bring you death, man. All right, pain and sorrows. And it says, uh, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but it's of the world. The right, man. So Go past this light. Then at the next one, turn left onto Southwest Highway. Claiming to, to, to believe in the truth, man. All right, man, proclaiming to, hey, know that you're an Israelite. You know, all these other things, man. That, that, hey, you're not of the Father, man. You're of Satan, man. All right? And that's why the Lord said, uh, called our people. All right, said that you are of your father, the devil. 
right? Because they most of our people they serve Esau Edom, man. They serve their flesh, man. We are not of the Father, man. And it says, uh, and the world passes away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever, right, man? So hey, if you're if you're doing these things, man, you're gonna pass away, man. You're gonna be destroyed, man. Are you lusting after this world, man? All right. You lusting after Esau Edom's ways, man. Hey, you're going to be destroyed by your whole body smile shot, man. Without remedy, man. Mm-hmm. Yep, come on. Uh, Salak, it was asking more in this. Back in 1 Timothy 6, uh, verse 7. It says, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. Right. This stuff don't matter, man. And in 2 Peter 3, chapter, it says that everything, that all the, as in that 1 John. Yeah, I got it right here. Hey, yep. This uh Second Peter 3 and 10, it says, But the day of Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, and the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, mm -hmm. and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Exactly. All this, it doesn't matter, man. Hey, hey, Proverbs 11, 4, richest prophet, not in the day of, uh, of wrath, but mm -hmm. righteousness delivered from death. And hey, that first John, uh, uh, kind of so like, uh, like what you're saying, man, and that first John, uh, two, it tells you uh, the lust thereof, it, that's all gonna pass away, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abide it forever, man. So none of this stuff that, that we're doing now is it, it, gonna matter unless it's the, uh, the, the, the profitable works, this will doing, that's the scripture saying. You no, know, that mansion don't matter. You know, that, that $50 hour job don't matter. None of that matters, man, because it's gonna be destroyed. That's what just read that Peter's. Yep. Um, I got one point to that, second piece, three, seven. It says, see, then, that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, all right? You, just, you should be separate from this world, man, all right? You, should, you shouldn't be holding hands in hand with the, with the devil, man, all right? We're a two-thirds of our people, man, all right? Because they're all going to be destroyed, man, because they lust after this world, man, all right? They are of the world. Esau, Edom's kingdom is going down, man. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. It says, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the dead of the hour, we're in the heavens, the heavens being on fire shall be, shall be, shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we according to his promise look for new heavens, a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness, right man? That's what's, that's what's coming, man. By new heaven and a new earth, man. This place is going to be destroyed. Everything that you see here, man, is going to be turned to fucking dust, man. All right? Hey, 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 Chicago from California is all going to look the same, man. It's not going to be any skyscrapers. It's not going to be any Benzes. Right, it's not going to be any Maybachs. None of that shit is all going to be destroyed, man. All right? So that mindset that you should be having is to trust in Yahweh Shem Al Shad, man. Yep. Uh, back in this 1 Timothy 6, uh, verse 8, it says, And having food and raiment, let us be there with content. So let us be suffice with what the Lord give us, man. And the Lord's prayer says our daily bread, you know, a, a, as the brother quoted that uh, King David, man. He said, give me neither poverty nor riches. Give me food uh, basically sufficient for me so that I don't, I don't, I don't forsake the Lord or, cur or curse the Lord, you know. Right. So, hey, let, with a food, with a uh, shelter over our head, you know, with clothing, you know, we ain't out here just naked. Hey, that's decent. You know, if the Lord give you a little bit more, that's, that's cool and all. But, hey. The main thing to hey, our mindset is to get out of this place, man. You know, right? Verse nine. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, mm -hmm. and into many foolish and hurtful lusts. Right. And then going after those rich riches, you know, the scriptures say, uh, uh, basically, to not go after riches, man. Why? Because you will well, you lose your soul for it. You'll lose sleep for it, man. Yep. You'll go. Hey, look at all our people. These rapper, these entertainers, man. They do all types of uh, odious works to. For that money, man, you know, and what they do, man, they hurt themselves. Kanye West bugged out, all types of weird stuff, man. Yep. You know? Stocking on his man here in public with a bubble coat. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I get this right quick. Yeah, this is of. Rock chapter thirty-one and verse one. It says, "Watching for riches consumeth the flesh, and the care thereof driveth away sleep." Right. So you are you are totally destroying yourself, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Trying to chase after riches, man. Look at. Hey, it was, uh, what, what's that nigga name, man? Uh, I forgot his name, but he always be doing the work, the motivational speeches and shit about money and, you know, pretty much trying to get successful in this world. I forgot his name, man, but, uh, you know, he pretty much is going in on Beyonce and shit. And he like, you know, like Beyonce, you know, she, 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 she wouldn't go to sleep for two days. All right, and, hey, in order to, to make her music, to, you know, get famous and all this, trying to, you know, pretty much promote the world, man. Right, to get you hyped up on the world to, to, you know, but hey, you gotta lose your soul for the world, man. You gotta lose everything, man. You, you have to become an 
hiring a person, all right, in order to uh, serve uh, your flesh, man. Serve Esau evil. And it says, watch and care, uh, watch and care for not let a man slumber as a sore disease break his sleep. The rich have great labor and gathering riches together. And when he rested, he is filled with his with his uh, delicacies. Hey, the Lord, hey, the Lord told hey, Nicodemus, he, he came to the Lord and he was like, uh, basically, Lord, how, how do I acquire everlasting life? The Lord told him, sell all that thou hast, you know, but hey, he didn't want to give give that up, man, you know, just to make a point, you know. Yeah. Uh, back in First Timothy I'm, uh, 6, I'm reading that again. It says, but they that be rich will fall, it's like, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition. So, hey, the New Testament tells you to not go after riches, the dangers of wanting to be riches, man. So what is, where is this gain, this godliness uh, doctrine coming from? It's false, man. Hey, hey who, who teaches that? The, the Christian churches, man? Hey, who's influenced by that? Hey, either, you know, people that ain't got the right doctrine as well, to say the least. Mm -hmm. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced them. At the next light, turn right. Many sorrows. So, hey, they erred from the, from the faith, man. Hey, because they what? They love money. The scriptures say in Matthew the sixth chapter, you cannot serve the most high in mammon. So you can't serve the Lord, A, hey, and, and his money, A, hey, and, and being after the flesh. Right? The Lord ain't hey, not saying that. Hey, if you're rich, hey, you're going off. No. If you're completely after money, man, you're loving money, you don't love... At the right, turn right onto West 95th Street. You want this word to continue on, man, then you're going off, all right? Then you're fucking wicked, man. Yeah, the scripture said that uh, money is a defense. Right. But it, it, it says, but the love of money is the root of all evil. If, you, if your intent is money and riches, they you're going off. In three quarters of a mile, turn left. themselves through with many sorrows. Man, they're gonna pierce yourself with these injectable devices as well, man. Mm -hmm. But uh, I got this rock 40, and I'm gonna start at 25. It says gold and silver make the foot stand sure, but counsel is esteemed above them both. So oh, yeah, you know, you know a little gold and silver, a little rich thing, you know, you get a little leeway, you know, you, you stay red like camera ahead. Verse 26 says, uh, riches and strength lift up the heart, but the fear of the Lord is above them both. Mm -hmm. There is no one in the fear of the Lord, and it needeth not to seek help. Help. Mm -hmm. So, a hey, so, hey, fear the Lord. You know, you don't need no nothing extra, you know, having, having a uh, little and knowing the most high is better than having uh, a lot of riches and not knowing them, man. Yep. You know, hey, is that, is that Proverbs 11 to 4? Hey, who, you know, hey, Zeph, can you grab Zephaniah 1? Uh, it says, uh, the gold and silver should not deliver them in a day of wrath. Mm -hmm. 1 in 19, I believe. Uh, 1 19? Well, 18. This is, uh, yep, it's the last verse. This is Zephaniah 1 and 18. It says, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in a day of Yahweh's wrath. So, hey, hey, money won't deliver you in the day of the Lord. You know, money, you might be able to get a tank, might be able to get a safe room, you know, throw some, no throw some dainties in there. You still going to die, man. So, hey, hey, gain is not godliness, man. Hey, having this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and applying it. Doesn't Go past this light. Then at the next one, turn left. All praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kodash, Yahweh, Sephapsa, Elz, Great Mills, At the light, turn left.